Hello everyone, Artisto Art Supplies here. Welcome to our drawing lesson. In this lesson, we're going to take this image of these bananas and we're going to draw them using only values. Let's start lightly sketching in the shape of my bananas. So remember to always keep things light. I just want to add in some contouring lines as my guideline so I can come back in there anytime and add in the highlight and shadow. So as I said many times, it's really important to study your object to make sure you're copying it correctly. And also look at things in proportions. So I'm just very lightly sketching in the basic shape of these bananas. Just the basic shape. These are just contouring lines. No details yet. So I'm looking back at my reference picture as much as possible. I'm really studying that picture. So remember you want to be spending at least 50% of your time looking at your actual object rather than looking at your drawing. Then you can start adding some of the details. So I'm trying to stay away from adding too much light and shadow. I just want to add in some contouring lines as my guideline. I can come back in there and add in the highlight and shadow. Once everything is correct, then you're going to be allowed to go in there and add in all of your details and shadows and highlights. Now I'm going to add in some value. So as you can see, I'm just adding lines to create those values, which are shadows. And I'm looking at my drawing as much as possible to figure out where those darkest values are. And also, don't be too quick to add in those shadows. Make sure that you're looking back at your reference or your object. If you're not sure, don't add it in until you're completely sure. Or add it in very lightly. You can always come back and erase it. And you want to make everything exactly as you see it. I always come back to add in more details and more shading, just so I make sure that I get it correctly. And just like all of our drawings up to this point, we want to make sure that we work certain areas all at the same time. So rather than work in one area and then being done with it, we want to work it for a while and then move on to another area so that we can work the entire picture and never overwork an area. This will help us create a good overall drawing and help us so that we make sure that everything is in proportion and has the correct values. So now I'm adding some darker details. I'm just trying to copy exactly what I see. The exact shape and the exact values. I'm not trying to think how the lemon is made. I'm trying to think how it works in perspective. I'm just trying to copy exactly what I see. That's it. So in this particular photograph of the bananas, they're actually lit with one lamp. In some cases, you might want to have a lamp on both sides to try different types of lighting. And I recommend that you try lighting things in different ways and then drawing them so you can understand.
Now I'm going to start adding in the background. The background is also very important in this drawing, and you want to make sure you get it in there, because the background is going to add some contrast between the bananas itself and the background. So up here, where the bananas get really white, unless we add a darker gray background, you're not going to really see a difference between the bananas and the background. But I'm adding in this darker gray background, all of a sudden, the banana stands out a lot more. And this is contrast. I'm trying to actually look at the image and put down on paper exactly what I see in the image or as close as possible. So in some areas, the background is a lot lighter and in some areas, it's a lot darker. So I'm trying to show that in my drawing. Now I'm just going back over it and adding some finishing touches just to make sure it all looks good. I'm double checking my image over and over again, making sure that every area looks like the same in the image as it does in my drawing. Then I'm just going to quickly add a little frame around that just to make it look neater. Then one last double check and I think that looks pretty good. So that brings us to the end of this lesson. So in this lesson, we took our black and white image of the bananas and we copied it for its exact values. We just tried to copy the values and the shape exactly as we saw it. This is called a true life study and they're very important. So your assignment for this lesson is to first draw this bananas image that I've just done. After you've done that, I want you to actually find a real life image. So I really think you guys are going to enjoy this assignment and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.